Hello folks and welcome back to the county of Portsleydale. My name is Badger the British and on this episode I'm going to be walking you through probably the last custom airport I will ever build in this game. As most of you are aware, the new airports DLC comes out next month and it's going to change everything we know about airports in this game and just revolutionise the way we do things. Just like parks and park life it's gonna be on that kind of level and probably the last of the big dlcs for this game and on the 25th of january i'm going to be buying that straight away and putting it into a live stream and just going through everything awesomeness but this is where it gets kind of awkward i don't know if you caught the live stream that i did trying to build a custom airport the other day and uh it was uh well, I've, i failed i failed massively and yeah, I just went in, half-cocked, no plan, bolted the gate, built four airports for willy-nilly no reason and uh, quite rightly lost £8 million in the process. So, what I did was I went away, I put my tail between my legs and I came up with a new design plan and I started implementing something that I'm really proud of and I really like it and I think it's awesome and it's going to stay until... The DLC comes out and then we'll overwrite it with that. So anyone who is a fan of this game knows that I you, when you sometimes you get building and you get building and you get building, you get a little bit addicted to building and then suddenly you've built the whole airport without even realising that you've pressed record. So here is the last of the custom airports I will ever build. I'm absolutely proud of this i think it's absolutely amazing and i think it's just just brilliant as a last hurrah goes this is definitely a good last hurrah so let me give you like a kind of a breakdown from the overall top angle and then we'll zoom down into it so from a bird's eye point of view we have, well, obviously we've got the main runway, the international airport here, and the, the transport hubs and links here. We have the business and hotel section here. And over this way, we have the industrial commerce section for our city. Over here, we have the helipads and helicopters and security sector. And over here, we have where all the planes are serviced and the you know the maintenance section of the airport and this is going to be a great landing oh 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 i thought pilots didn't drink anymore and let's start this tour by bringing it to the entrance here now these obviously connect directly to a motorway no stops no thrills just straight from the junction to the airport and i this is the mini roundabout that welcomes everyone, not fully finished yet, but this is where I decided to put this statue because when you go to an airport and at the beginning of the airport, there's always like some fancy sculpture or something. So here is ours. And I think this really fits the theme of, you know, international collaboration and uh, what airports are really about connecting different countries together. Uh, we can see many different country flags here. You know, we've got the UK, Belgium, Italy, Spain, France, uh, Germany is also in there somewhere. And yeah, that's absolutely beautiful as a beginning. Then we come around, we built a perimeter fence around important sections, especially the airport, just to keep the people out. But the next section is our helicopter zone, which is has every type of service over here so we've got the police at the back here hospital here and fire over here this is the helicopter depot for helicopter transport so moving on to the second best thing that i like about this area which is our international airport and it looks fantastic look at that absolutely wonderful it's an absolute beauty of a thing and what you're trying to really do with an international airport is create a transport hub on a phenomenal level and this 
achieves that aim entirely. So starting with this big international hub, we've got obviously the planes they come in and it has a sneaky subway system underneath which connects straight to the downtown big area of Wartsdale, which is right here, very easy to get to this one. So you can just take a short walk or a tram ride, you can get straight here, and then it's just takes inspiration from the Heathrow Express and sends you on a subway system journey straight to the airport here. Now, on the left, we have the international bus station, as you can see, that's a different colored bus, and that is an international bus bringing people from far and wide to our wonderful airport. And obviously them using our services, thank you very much for using our services, they will give us extra revenue for doing that. And off it goes. Same with the, air, with the train station here, we've got two lanes for international customers coming in from outside so they can use our airport and then we have our internal bits now I chose this bus station because it only has four bus lanes and that is for a reason the main reason is because the trains and the subways connect to all mo the majority of Portsdale so I wanted these four port these four bus lanes to connect to the regions that are less connected more rural and, you know, people who are probably more on a budget than, and can't take, like, you know, a bus, a train, a tram, a thing. And they just get on their little bus straight to the airport. Now, over here, we have our... This is especially for the airport. So these buses don't go anywhere off this island. So there are three bus lanes. One that takes people to the service area over here and does this little bit. And then we've got another bus that does this business sense a bit and we got a final bus that does the international bit and yes you could have one bus do it all but then you wouldn't get as much life in this area and then we've got lastly the helicopter which is proving rather popular more popular than normal helicopter services which takes people to either downtown Portsydale so you could just take the subway if you really wanted to but it seems like most people are going to go to the concert because it also drops people off at Badgerfest and there you go that is our lovely international airport we do have to get rid of these buildings though unfortunately they are yeah yeah that plane would not be in good shape after that so here we go the third best Thing about this place is the business center not fully finished obviously because you can see the park's not done and yeah love it it's just this like little business hub for and tourist hub for tourists that get stuck in this place or you know people who are just having a layover a couple of days here can have a chill out or if they're visiting we've got the expo center over here just in case there's some kind of show or something that they're wanting to come see and you know conference type thing and then they can get back on their planes and go on their jet set lifestyle now we did use quite a few little assets from about the place so we've got like an office building here just to keep you know there would be like little offices about the place to keep the airport running and we've also got the fish market here which i know there wouldn't really be a fish market there but it kind of looks like a hangar from afar it just fits into the general aesthetic and breeds a bit of life having these fish trucks turn up and deliver fish. Now, on to the Pierre de Resistance of this whole build. And the thing I am most proudest of is our international cargo airport because it looks stunning. It looks brilliant. Love it to pieces. Obviously still not fully finished, but it's brilliant. I love it. I love the fact that the trains come out here and they go around the sea. Look. Amazing. Love it. And they're just straight out as well. And that trains come down here and they take a little left and they come into this bit. Granted, this is a deadline, but you could get a mod of a cargo train and just put it there. So it looks all like some cargo trailers and just 
pop them there so it looks like it's just ready to be picked up and hauled off. Love it how this works. This cargo terminal brings in trains that transport things to the road, most likely going to our warehouses. And uh, these warehouses are full of goods that are at the final stages of their production. So we could just grab them if we need to sell them and send them on their merry way very easy, very quickly. This needs a bit of sorting out. Maybe we should flip it. So therefore, the, if you're picking up and dropping off, it's at the back here. And if you're just coming down, you can just cruise past all these people uh, who are collecting and picking up. So we did take the main advice of the live stream. I have our main parcel depot here because this is where all the parcels and packages get sorted out when they come in straight away. So they can go straight here, get allocated and then sent off on their merry, merry way. But yeah, absolutely looks beautiful. Love it. My favourite bit of the whole airport is this. And I'm going to be very sad when this gets demolished. <sighs> but to now, absolutely beautiful and love it and could stare at it for hours. But I'm not going to make you do that. And then over here, finally, we have our little custom area, which kind of looks like a service station we've currently got a patient being dropped off at the clinic via helicopter which is quite cool but this is our service center for the airport so we've got our medical clinic our fire station and we've got a bus eco-friendly bus station here so all the buses you know are diesel powered or biofueled as they call it and yeah we've got this lovely water stack also good advice on the live stream just to make it look like this is where they store the fuel and stuff for all the planes which is also fenced in and yeah we've got the power generator here and talking of power where there was a lack or it needed to jump over we use these little earthquake things to make it look like the there was things on the runway but really what they're doing is they're just connecting the power to everywhere so there you go sneaky little tip for you and then we've obviously got these emergency shelters which kind of look like hangars or storage bays or type thing but they don't actually do anything so there you go that is the last of the custom airports and I'm going to show it from this way because I, I like this way this is the last of the custom airports I'll probably build in this game and it's been a fantastic last one. I really look forward to the DLC coming out. Not because I'm a massive City Skylines head. It's the fact that these airports take a massive toll on your budgets. So if you haven't got a really productive city like I have, then they can be really, really draining. Where I think the DLC is going to aim to resolve that issue and actually make them more profitable so they can be a income generator and you can actually work on building them and making them more financially viable where well, this is just it just really sucks the coffers from your budget and you have to be really careful about what you put where and how and and all that but they look absolutely fantastic and when you get it right you get it right when you get it wrong get it horribly wrong also i'm really looking forward to the fact that the planes are going to be different and they're going to be looking rather different i mean i don't know what plane this is but it's like a double decker slammed together little plane and it looks like they're using actual planes in this dlc which will be amazing to see and hopefully they can sort out the flying there, because that, I mean, that's a skill and a half, but I, I would not like to be a passenger on that plane. I mean, it is kind of sad that, I mean, you could always go off and build custom, it's not, nothing's going to stop you building a custom airport like this, but it is sad that the creativity is kind of being confined within all these new DLCs and, you know, the limit of your imagination might be concealed to just building and upgrading whatever is presented within the DLC but I can see why it's a necessary evil 
because this is a part of the game that really need work on and I'm very glad they've they've done something about it. Not going to give my final opinion until I see the DLC, but I mean it looked quite cool that there was even like bits like a an airport museum within there because there was like a Concord and things if you look really closely and how everything seemed to have its own little network. So the trains if you if you saw there was like an airport metro Thing, and there was like an airport metro bus which is kind of what we got here which we could paint the colors of the buses different you know make them something cool and you know make the trains a different color but this looks like in the DLC they've gone even one step further and made it proper proper in depth about their airport transport link and also for you console gamers who play this it looks like these things are going to be massive and maybe one tile where if you're only playing with nine tiles that's going to be one ninth of your tileage so you might have to bear that in mind when doing it hopefully they've compensated for that and they've made a smaller airport that can do it all and do everything brilliantly yeah i'm just sorry i, I, I keep looking at this airport being like yes this is awesome Sorry, I'm really, really taking too much pride in this, to be to be honest. Uh, it's going to be a sad, sad day to tear this down. But, you know, all good things must come to an end, just like this video. And if I have any other thoughts, I will let you know in January. Until then, have a good day. Joy be with you all. Stay safe out there. And goodbye. I hope you enjoyed that and remember to like, subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. I've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.